everyone's daughters and children are different. At 21 and 19, my daughters are very mature. They're quite strong women, which is how I hope to have brought them up, how my parents brought me up. And, you know, they came to me, both of them separately, saying they wasn't happy with the boobs, um, you know. Uh, can I just say, yeah, so, sure. so as a mum, because I've got daughters of yeah, yeah. a similar age, as a mum, when they said that, did you sort of worry a bit that it could be wrapped up in self-esteem? Did you not sort of think, no. why are they unhappy with their boobs? Well, no, not at all, because, um, like I said, they're very ground, they're very level-headed girls. They, they didn't just come to me and say, well, I want a boob job. We discussed it, they told me the reasons why. Did they have different reasons? Uh, completely, so... Um, so what were the reasons? So, um, <laughs> my, my daughter Taylor's not here, she's gonna kill me. But actually, I think she said it on the show. <laughs> so Taylor's got one breast two sizes smaller than the other, and she felt really body-conscious about it and quite conscious. Um, you know, in bikinis and, um, and and just didn't feel, felt unhappy with the way they looked. Um, Darby, for a completely different reason, she's, um, she doesn't have, didn't have a lot of boobs, um, quite flat chested. She just wanted to add a little bit more, make herself feel See, a little bit me, more. See, to me, she has the perfect figure there. She's got bigger boobs yeah, than me. She's had her boobs done there, that's why. Oh, oh, right. uh, <laughs> can, I, can I ask you, like, the, your young girls have, have been brought up, um, I guess, looking at really glamorous women. You're very glamorous yourself. Thank Do you. you think part of it is that actually it's normal, it's normal for them? They look at women and they say, you know, my mum's friend looks like that, my mum looks like that, so why don't I look like that? And I want so, like so one of the do you things, think it's normalisation? No, I don't. I think one of the things that's really important, and I, and I discuss this with the girls, you know, I'm wearing makeup today, and I've discussed makeup because I want to, that's how I feel nice. I'm not wearing it to, to make anyone else think I look nice. I do it for myself. And I think, you know, when you're going into a procedure like this, it's about it's about having having surgery. Or, for you're example, you're a grown up woman, though. You've yeah, but had she's 21. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was married and yeah. had Derby. In actual fact, you had didn't you have I your had my, first? Boob I had job. my first boob job at Derby's age because mm, I was yeah. laying in bed. I had amazing breasts. I was laying in bed, and my husband went, "Where's your boobs gone?" And I whistled from under my armpit. <laughs> I went, "They're here." And I thought, "Oh God!" And I've had them in 19 years. You know, that's the only plastic surgery I've ever had. Um, but does that give you? Know where to go as a mum because when if you do something at 21 you can't then say to your 21 year old well no because I mean you know as I said every person is an individual um, and what's right for one of my daughters may not be right for the other but it's a big thing it's, it's, it's um, Ash, sorry Ashley your husband mm -hmm. he was against it at first wasn't it well actually I was just a bit shocked he was in his dinner and he's thinking oh my god boob jobs <laughs> la 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 but actually what we did and it was off camera we sat down as a family. And, you know, when they... My girls are 21 and 19, and I've said they're strong girls. So I want to be a supportive parent. You know, she's... They've come to me with a suggestion that they want to do something to the body. So the first thing I said to them is, OK, I was really pleased they came to me. Um, you know, we went to get the right advice. I could search, search for the best surgeon. And, you know, when we went to the, see the surgeon, things could have been different. If at any point that surgeon said, you know, I don't think it's right for your daughters, or, or I think there's this risk, and, you know, then at my, I would have said to my girls, look, it's not right. Mm. I actually said to the girls, look, you've got to be 150% um, sure with what you want to do. I'll, I'll get you the best surgeon. And if you look, it's a, I'm a chatter, as you know, <laughs> Colleen. <laughs> I actually, Never say, I actually didn't say but very it, much. It's, but when does, where does it they, stop? Because they've had fillers as well, haven't they? No, and they haven't. They've have, they both had the lips done. Yes, they have, yeah. So, so where does it stop? You know, well, they're me, 21 and yeah. they've had fillers and they're having boob jobs. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not making have, a judgment. Not I'm fillers saying... in the face. They haven't got to make that clear because they don't need fillers in the face. They didn't need the lips doing, but again... It's well, Darby, a... Darby's actually here with you. Yeah, yeah. Darby's your eldest daughter, 21. Hello, Darby. Hello. Um, so listening to that, um, did you at any point hope that mum might try and talk you round or were you very determined that this is what you were going to do you just wanted her advice yeah I knew 100% that I was having it done anyway as long as like the medical professional told me that it was safe to do so within you know the obvious concerns that you can have with surgery but um I was going to do it anyway but I went to my mum and asked her like can you come with me I want someone to be there with me and to so that I completely understand everything that well, I'm getting into. Let me into. ask you, because we're all speculating here, you know, why, why, why? <laughs> Is it because you see images or you're, uh, you know, around very glamorous women who maybe have had this kind of surgery themselves or you're watching television shows that, that you feel that there's a certain image that you need to look like? No, to be honest, I used to be quite conscious about talking about it, but I'm not now. Yeah. I was, had a really good figure, I was small, I had nice boobs. Um, I went through a bit of a stage and I put on quite a lot of weight. 
And when I lost my weight, I lost my boobs as well. And I go to the gym five times a week, I work out really hard, and I was going on holiday and I was finding myself like struggling with bikinis, struggling mm. with different things. I thought, I feel so conscious about this. I feel like I'm 12 years old and I'm 21. Mm. And, if and how, how do you feel do? about people who've criticised your mum, Dawn, for, for letting you go ahead with this? I feel upset actually because at the end of the day she is my mum and she's only supporting me in the decision that I'm going to take. It's my body. It's no, she's not saying you need to go and have your boobs done or yeah. like it's something that I came to her with and yeah. I was conscious about and she just just supports my decision. I think she's yeah. standing up for herself. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. Yeah. Um, well, the real housewives of dinner. Cheshire, <laughs> we can see the rest of that that conversation. Oh, sorry. I know. Well, it's nice when your children say nice <laughs> things. Yeah. Yeah.